Now, into the deadly high rise fire in the Bronx overnight, police released the names of three more victims who died. The youngest one, two years old. That's in addition to the 14 names already released. We now know the names and ages of all 17 people killed in the fire. So many lives lost. The medical examiner's office revealed they all died from smoke inhalation. A large crowd gathered last night for a candlelight prayer vigil outside the apartment building. The community so touched by this tragedy, some showed their support even though they didn't know the victims. CBS News' John Diaz joins us live now from Fordham Heights this morning with more. John. Chris and Mary, families living on the 17th, 18th, and 19th floors, we are told, are now allowed to return back home. However, though, the question still remains here this morning. Do they want to? A lot of survivors we've been speaking with saying that they are traumatized. Tuesday night, a crowd of mourners coming together, lighting candles to drown out the darkness. Hundreds stood close by to honor the 17 people who died in Sunday's tragic fire. Eight children and nine adults, many here trying to find peace through prayer. But this is not the time to question your faith. This is the time that we should all gather near and recognize that we praise a good God. And along with remembering those who were gone, some people are making it a point to honor the first responders who risked everything. Mallory Gethers made a shirt capturing the men and women paying their respects in front of the Twin Parks Northwest building. They're heroes and I appreciate them. I feel like they saved a lot of lives. It could have been a lot more lives lost. The medical examiner's office says all the victims, the youngest, just two years old, died from smoke inhalation. Many survivors just barely made it out in time. My aunts are traumatized. My sister's traumatized. My nieces are traumatized. It, 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 it's done. They do not want to go back to this building. Investigators say toxic smoke quickly spread through the building because an apartment door never closed. It was so deformed from the heavy fire that our marshals are having very great difficulty determining exactly why it wouldn't close. Bronx Borough President Vanessa Gibson said she is going to work to make sure that does not happen again in this community. There is something wrong when a majority of the major fires we have seen in the city of New York in the last 30 years have been in the Bronx. Mm. And so this is a call to attention and this is a call to action. And the fire commissioner is saying we may never know why exactly that front door uh, did not close. However, though, investigators, they are doing their best to try to, to figure that all out. We're live this morning from the Fordham Heights section of the Bronx. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you. 602 right now, an overwhelming show of support from the community as donations continue to pour in. The Begambian Youth Organization now looking for volunteers to sort through it all. Local leaders are also offering financial support for families, including flights to bury loved ones in their home countries. And for information on how you can help, you can go to cbsnewyork.com.